the sweater I bought was picking up static. So I returned it to the store and they gave me one free of charge. Get it? Speaking of electricity, Tata has just unveiled their new EV concept car. It's based on a third generation EV platform, will give you a minimum of 500 kilometers of range and will go on sale by 2025. Here's an uninterrupted look at it and we'll discuss the finer details later. This is the Avinia. What do you call the fastest ship in the world? An Usain boat. Why boat? Well, because the Avinia takes its inspiration from a catamaran. Tall, flat shoulders, sleek, shallow cabin, and stretched out wheelbase. Even the front headlamp design takes inspiration of this particular type of sailboat. If the curve we saw last month is a forerunner of what Tata cars will look like in the near future, then the Evinia is a far further glimpse into the Indian manufacturer's future design language. According to Tata, premium hatchback, MPV and crossover SUV have all rolled into one. I personally see the premium hatchback and MPV bits, but can you tell me where the SUV inspired bits are? Still some details jump out at you, like those 22 inch aero bladed alloys, sleek rear view mirror stocks and those tail lights that stick out like little mini winglets. And of course, the panoramic glass roof. The front features a large grille that lights up into a big happy smiley face. And the DRLs run from one sleek headlamp to the other, but break in the middle to form the T of the Tata T logo. And this will be the impression of their new light signature. As we move rearward, you will also notice that that spoiler is also made of a smoked glass. The bonnet is short and quickly blends into that windscreen. Great for aero, but also great for freeing up space on the inside. Now I'll spare you an inside joke. Mm, bad fun. We'll get straight in. Cliche. Well, we'll step in through those wide opening butterfly doors. Simplification is one of the catchphrases that Martin Ulrich used when presenting the car. And in a departure from cars that we've seen recently, we can see that Tata has clearly made an effort to reduce the number of pixels on the inside. So there's one small screen on the squared off steering wheel, two screens on both the A pillars, and one thin, slim, wide screen along the top of the dash that gives you just the bare essentials. So range, battery percentage, speed, and outside temperature, just the basics. If the screens fade away then, the audio experience is being brought into the foreground. So there's a big sound bar on the dash, speakers in each of the headrests, and all of the commands will be voice controlled. Overall, a very minimal design with earthy colors, sustainable materials, and even an aroma dispenser. Refreshing? Well, which of the features do you think will make it to production? A vineyard, which stands for innovation, is 4.3 meters long in concept form, but the new pure EV architecture can grow larger or smaller as needed. In terms of tech, Tata say they're going to benchmark it with the best and also equip it with the best of tech. So artificial intelligence, machine learning, ADAS, connected car tech, and they also plan to go global with the car. Tata say that it'll cover at least 500 kilometers of minimum range and safety will be at the forefront too. 
they also promise that it'll be able to handle our 2025 road conditions as well. So love it? Want more screens? Still want an SUV? Well, join us on the 4th of May when we'll have a full detailed walk around of the Avenia for you. And now for my final joke. Hey, joke! Cut, cut.